Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the input sensitivity for all your guitars for the Boss GT1000 and the Boss GT1000 Core. Now, what that's going to do is to improve the dynamic response of the effects and the amp and the cab sims, and it's going to maximize the performance of the AIRD technology. So let's get to it. I've got three guitars that I want to set up for the GT1000 core. I've got this one, which has got humbuckers. I've got another guitar, which has got single coils and another guitar, which has got active pickups. Now, every single guitar is gonna have a slightly different output. So these are gonna be slightly hotter than the single coils and the active pickups are probably gonna be hotter than the humbuckers on this guitar. What I'm gonna do first of all is to go into Tone Studio and set up the patches for the three guitars. Now you can do this all in the GT1000, but I find it much quicker to do in Tone Studio. So let's do that first. So what I'm gonna do is to go to Menu and we're gonna choose Input Settings. Now we've got 10 patches here that we can set different guitars up, but the first one I'm gonna name Sir Humbuckers. Right, let's go to the second one and let's name this Tele single coils. And now the third one I'm going to name Reverend Active, as that's the one with active pickups. Right and choose right. So now if we go to the GT1000 screen, as you can see, it's named Reverend Active. Now, if I use the second control knob here, I can bring it back. There's a Tele single coil. And first of all, we've got the Sir Humbuckers. Now comes the important bit where we need to set up the sensitivity levels for each guitar. So let's do the Sir guitar first. This is the one with the humbuckers. So as we're doing the Sir guitar first, I'm just making sure that it's definitely the right guitar on the screen. Now, when I strum the guitar, you'll see the input sensitivity and the level on the screen. So here it goes. Now the level that I need to achieve is to try and hit that tiny little triangle there. So I need to increase the level. So I'm going to turn it up by 2 dB. So now that's that guitar set up. Let's move on to the next one. So next, let's set up the input sensitivity for the telly. Now the telly is going to have a lower output than the humbuckers and I'm guessing as well the active guitar. So let's do that next. Now we're going to be setting up the telly. Let's change this so it says telly single coils and let's strum the guitar. As you can see, the output level of these pickups are a lot lower than the Sir with humbuckers. So I'm going to turn this up. A little bit more. And let's bring it back one. So let's move on to the last guitar. And last of all, let's do the Gristle Master. This is one with the active pickups. Okay, so now I'm using the Gristle Master. So I'm gonna change it again to Reverend Active. And let's strum the guitar. So as you can see, this guitar is a lot hotter than the other two guitars. So I'm gonna turn this one down. Let's try it at minus one. And it's still too hot. Let's bring it down a bit more. Now they're all set up, all I need to do is to choose the guitar that I'm playing at the time. So if I want the Gristle Master, I'm using this one. If I want to use a Tele, I'm going to choose this patch. And if I'm playing the Sir with humbuckers, I'm going to choose this patch. Now I'm going to show you the difference of if you use this feature or not. So I've chosen a blank patch, so this is at 0 dB. So that still sounds great, but let's change it to the Tele patch that I set up. So instantly it feels so much more responsive and amp-like. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell button and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.